Wolverine standout and current Jacksonville Jaguars running back Denard Robinson involved in a bizarre car accident in Florida this weekend. Police found both Robinson and his girlfriend asleep inside a car. Not that unusual, but they found them as the car was sinking into this pond. When police tried to wake them up, both of them said they wanted to be left alone and tried to fall back asleep. Uh, police say Robinson was not impaired, just extremely tired. Steve, let's get back to Steve Garagiola, who's been digging into this. Not a very common thing to happen, Steve, uh, <laughs> but a little unusual. Yeah, I would say this. To find yourself asleep in your car in a retention pond, certainly pretty rare. But I also found out today people sleeping while the car is moving behind the wheel is much more common than you would imagine. This afternoon, I got an education on sleep. So the officer knocked on the window. Mind you, they're in a car sinking in a retention pond. And according to the police report, Robinson opened his eyes and then went back to sleep. Is that even possible? Oh, yes, most certainly. That doesn't strike me as unusual in a real excessive sleepy state. Dr. Timothy Rares at Henry Ford Hospital Sleep Center says lack of sleep and the accidents it causes is a huge problem in this country. There are probably 20 percent of people who are walking around uh, as sleepy as, as our, our patients, our patients with narcolepsy or sleep apnea. According to a recent study, 60% of adult drivers, about 168 million people, say they have driven while sleepy. 37% of them admit to falling asleep behind the wheel. Uh, this is a common problem for shift workers driving home in the morning. Last year, about 100,000 police reported crashes were blamed on sleepy driving. When he finally woke up, Denard Robinson tweeted, I just want to let everyone know that I was involved in a single car accident, and thankfully everyone was safe and unharmed. I should not have been driving that late or when I was that tired, but I'm just glad that everyone was safe. The police report says Robinson was not impaired by alcohol or drugs. He was just very, very sleepy. Wow. Now, the doctor says, and I guess it's the proverbial no-brainer, if you're driving and you're nodding off, you're very, very sleepy, find a safe place to pull over and sleep for a little while. Of course, we're all reluctant to do that. Sometimes it may not even be possible, but when you gotta sleep, you gotta sleep, and that's part of the answer. Devin? But two people feeling the same way at the exact same time, apparently, Steve, which is wild, but who's uh, more likely to be in this group of people that the, the doctor was talking about then? Yeah, well, he touched on one of them, and I guess it's the people you would certainly think of. Overnight shift workers, sure. young parents, very much at the top of the list of first responders. And he said the answer is there is no, no complete solution, but try to set a sleep pattern for whatever time of day you're able to sleep so you can go to bed and wake up at the same time. That will at least help. It's wild. And apparently off-season uh, off NFL running backs, so yeah. we'll put them in there as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, Steve.